government is moving to pay retired public officers some $60 million in retroactive pension and gratuity payments commencing November of this year, in part or in full. Prime Minister Deacon Mitchell is solidifying his party's promises made during the campaign to pay retired public officers from the period 1985 to present. This decision was made during a meeting with Prime Minister Mitchell, his financial team and trade union leaders in the cabinet room last Friday. The Prime Minister gave his commitment to upholding the pension judgment and also to make payments to the estate of eligible teachers and public officers between 1985 to present who died. The estimated figure of $60 million in retroactive pension and gratuity payments outlined by the government falls far below the figures given by former Prime Minister and Finance Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell in April of this year. While the fiscal obligations of the court ruling are still being tabulated, Preliminary indication, and these are just preliminary numbers, are that we will have to find at least $465 million. Sister Brothers, take that in. $465 million. That's not all. And then on average, we have to find 120 more million dollars each year for at least the next 37 years. Dr. Mitchell was concerned about the impact the pension payment could have on the economy. Regarding the issue of payment of state pensions, unless we manage the process well and set out a viable roadmap under which the state could meet its obligations. It can completely derail the economy, sink thousands into dire poverty, and set us back many years and cripple the future development plans. The NDC-led administration is giving the assurance that going forward, teachers and public officers who retire and are eligible for pension and gratuity under the appropriate Pension Act will be honored. A presentation was made by the press secretary in the Ministry of Finance that gave a comprehensive report on the number of people to be paid pension and gratuity from 1985 to present, projections of the estimated cost for future retirees, who will soon attain the age of 60 years. Parties are set to meet again before any payment is made. For GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.